Today is a great, you can't even see me. Today is a great day. So if you're wondering why the content on the GTI slowed down so much, it's because this is where all of my free money was going. And so uh, clearly I just bought a new car and uh, we're about to go check it out and uh, with Keon. What up? And uh, I'll give you like a rundown of what's up with it, what the plans are and what needs to be fixed first before we get into like mods and whatnot. Pick it up when we get there. Dun, dun, da, dun, 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 da, dun, dun, dun. Oh, I need you to get a, a picture of me because I'm going to t -pose on top of the car. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Piece of shit. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. It looked a lot worse in pictures. So what I'ma probably do is <clears throat> my voice cracking. I'ma probably find like some more fenders from a junkyard. It's the hood. But see the fenders are fucked oh, up yeah, too. From so I'ma just replace them and then get that those paint matched and then get the hood paint matched and then I'ma just bang the fuck out of that damn hood or roof. Yeah. Make the top, bro. Oh my god. But uh yes. I am now the owner of a 2003 Nissan 350Z. Um I had been paying on this car for the past couple of months while I was in between jobs. So the whole process took a while. But better late than never, right? Uh the last time yeah, I had already test driven the car and whatnot, and um, it was fine. And then we went out here another day to check it out. And we tried to start it, battery was dead, tried to jump it, and then we think it blew a fuse. So it's been sitting for the past couple of months since that incident. And uh, it hasn't been touched till now. So, like I said, it's a 2003 six P manual. I think it had like 140 something thousand miles on it. As far as I know, it's lowered on something. I think it's lowering springs. It springs. It springs? Yeah, it springs. So, it's got lowering springs. Obviously, it's been painted. Um, I think it had an intake on it. And then it had the steering wheel, the quick release. Then it's got a duck bill, and uh, it's mostly the stock exhaust. I think it might have a fucking uh, like resonator delete or buffler delete or something. It sounds good though. Yeah, it's it's louder than stock, but it ain't That's nothing crazy. Oh, it doesn't even have an intake. It's just a filter. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think it'll be a good fixer up or project for the channel. And I've always wanted a Z since I was in high school. The issue was. I refuse to pay what people want for a clean Z now. So I was like, I could get a deal on a second hand one that needs some work. Well, they're all second hand, but get a deal on one that needs some work. And uh, it'll also be good for the channel because this car is really not all that bad. I need two fenders. Hood needs to be repainted to match the rest of the paint. You need to cut this off and make it a target top. <laughs> that. <laughs> or you can just bang this shit out. Make it a target top. No, sir. Do a homeboy did an H2O. Facts, just cut a fucking hole in it. Yeah. Honestly, these dents, most of them aren't that bad. No, you got to bang from the top because when that shit flew up, man. Yeah. yeah, bang from the inside? Huh? Bang from the inside? Yeah, because when it flew up, that shit, like, it hit Tate and Brendan on the head. When the hood flew up, and just said, like, thump, and that shit was like. Oh, it pushed down that hard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Because when I pulled up, I said, oh. Like, I thought they crashed, but nope, the hood flew up. Let me get on that side. But, uh, yeah, the plan right now is we need to figure out the issue with the fuse because it's not getting powered anything, so it's probably, like, some important fuse. But it shouldn't be too big of an issue. And then, uh, I'm going to drive this shit out of here and park it at a homie's house until I get the uh, title and paperwork and all that stuff sorted. But, uh, yeah. We'll pick it up when we get it fixed, I guess.
So it doesn't look like there's a fuse blown. It looks like I think we just look, look, we think the battery's just dead. Yeah. Because the car's been sitting for like a year, so. The battery left corroded. Just gonna buy a new battery. New driving. Well, we replaced the battery. It fired right up, so. I guess that's all we needed after all. I checked the oil. Oil level's good enough. What not? So, uh, we're gonna take it for a spin really quickly. When they start counting down, you can... Oh, it's counting up. There we go. All right. Derek? First drive. First drive. I don't know how to make you lighter. Oh. Oh, yeah. VDC came on. Nope. You gotta hold the... You gotta hold the button. It is... I see it. Yeah. There you go. How you feeling about your new whip? I'm very excited. Very excited? <laughs> Hell yeah. It's a little rough, but it'll get there. Yeah? You can't see the dents in the roof from up here. <laughs> roof from down here. You can't see it, it don't exist, right? Exactly. COVID. Ooh. Oh, you about to engage in some tomfoolery. <laughs> oh, shit. All I smell is tire. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. I don't know what that was. I should probably get out and check these fucking tires. Probably, that'd be a good idea. The tires. Oh, the tires ain't bad. My side ain't bad anyway. A natural Derek in his habitat. <laughs> just Volkswagen things, you know, it's just rubbing off. <laughs> Next thing you know, this man Derek about to be a drift pro. Gotta get used to a manual again. Oh yeah, Volkswagen DSG. The clutch on this is extremely forgiving too, so. I ain't bring no fucking mask with me. First gas stop? Oh, you gotta go inside? I gotta pee. You gotta pee? Oh yeah, you, do, you did say that. You can sit in the car for Probably will. They might say some shit though, so I ain't got no mask. Oh uh, shit. All right, you have a good pee. I ain't gonna steal your pee. Got the car parked at my homie spot. Um, few things. This window switch is very funky, so you gotta like finagle it a little way to keep the window from coming oh, back you down. Want, you want to show you how you want to do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause this shit is dumb. It pissed me off the whole way here. All right, go down normally, right? Uh huh. That's what happens if you hold it automatic. As soon as you let go, it goes back down. So you have to like inch it up bit by bit stay for up. it to stay up, which is dumb. But uh, it's got a check engine light. So I'm gonna get a code reader, read it tomorrow, see what that's going on. Cause it feels like it, it feels like it's stumbling a little bit above 4,000 RPM, especially when you get on it, it feels like it's just hesitating. But the car has been sitting for damn near a year. It's been sitting a long ass time. So it could be anything. But uh, first things first, get the code reader. I put some fresh gas in it, get the code reader, see what the hell that code is for, and then basically just go from there. Uh, other than it feeling like it was stumbling, also I think I'm gonna just need new tires soon. Either I'm gonna need new tires, or these just need some air, cause these shits were studded like a motherfucker all the way here. So, first things first, tires, figure out what the CEL is, and then we can fix why it's so ugly. We just go from there. Yeah, you got a lot of wheel gap. Not wheel gap, you got a lot of fender. You got a lot of yeah. space to play in the fender. Oh, it needs a roll too. Honestly, it doesn't look bad though. Not at all. The Nardo Gray helps out a lot. But uh, I'm actually very excited for this car. This, 
I've wanted one since high school, finally got the opportunity to own one, and it's it's like actually mine. First rear wheel drive car? It, it is actually my first rear wheel drive car. Actually, you saw that on the video I did like a skid. Yeah. That shit's fun. <laughs> I know. I see why Z niggas crash a lot. <laughs> it's addictive. But uh, I appreciate all y'all for watching. I hope y'all like this video. Don't worry though. I haven't stopped making content with the Volkswagen. Stuff is still going to be coming. But this is where most of my money was getting tied up at. Because this is where most of my free money was going to pay this off. So, oh, also, I don't know if I mentioned it. 2003, six-speed manual, 144,000 miles. Got it for $3,200. And uh, it's just ugly because the hood latch failed. And so it dented the roof up. Well, it, it wasn't the hood latch. It was zip ties. It was... Oh, we never told you that. No I thought we did. told you that. So apparently the hood light went bad a while back, and uh, they had zip ties on it, but they they neglected to tell us, hey, you need to switch the zip ties out every couple of weeks, and it's about that time where you need to switch the zip ties. So Tate and Brennan were driving behind the truck, and as soon as they got from behind the truck, all the wind hit and just said, yeet, because the zip ties just snapped. But it's got a, it's got a hood latch now, so you good. Okay. So yeah, it just needs the roof damage fix I, I can bang most of this stuff out though do what that nigga did at h2o yeah i might cut the roof out there we go <laughs> and then i just need two new fenders then i just got to get the hood paint matched and it'll look fine honestly yeah but uh yeah got your old hood at the house facts it's kind of fucked up but yeah it's a little banged up but fuck it but uh yeah thank you all for watching i can't wait to uh get started with this whole project you want to say bye, Kim? Bye, gangsters. Peace out. Buy my merch. Facts. <laughs> He's so luscious, locks. Buy the merch. Bye.